Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to the second part of the concept of the ratio. In this, we will discuss more questions about word problems of the ratios. In the first here, increase or decrease in a given ratio. If you have some quantities given to you, original quantities given to you, you have to find the new value. So in this we use the formula new quantity is equal to b by a into original quantity. New quantity means whether your values increase or decrease. You have to find this new quantity. If you have new quantity is given, ratio is given, <coughs> you can also find the original quantity according to that. Only this formula among these four terms any one is missing. You apply the values and find out the missing value. b upon me means actually this is a ratio b. A ratio B actually is equal to original quantity upon the new quantity. A will be considered as original and B will be considered as uh, ratio of the new quantity. So when you cross multiply this one, new quant quantity goes on this side and original divided by A by B that becomes B by A. So from that we get the formula new quantity is equal to B by A into original quantity. Next is now in this card you have some questions of this. 1 kg of apple cost 90 rupees if the price of apple decrease in the ratio 10 ratio 7 what is the cost of 1 kg of apple of the decrease in the price in this original value of 1 kg of apple is given to you that is 90 rupees and how much it decrease cost is decreased ratio is given that is 10 ratio 7 it means a value is 10 and b value is 7 you have to find if values decrease according to the ratio 10 ratio 7 so what will be the new decrease value so cost of 1 kg of apple is equal to 90 rupees ratio is 10 ratio 7 new price of 1 kg new price is equal to b upon a into original price new price is equal to 7 by 10 now here value will be changed because a value is 10 and b value is 7 7 by 10 into 80 after calculation we get 63 Similarly, second question is of same type, like you have given 1 litre cost of milk is, original cost of 1 litre milk is given 48 rupees and if prices decrease according to the ratio 8 ratio 5, so what is the new decrease price? Same, you have to apply the direct formula here, cost of 1 litre of milk is 48 rupees, ratio is equal to 8 ratio 5, new price you have to find, new price will be B upon A into original price. Now b value is 5 and a value is 8 5 by 8 of 48 gives me 30 rupees now here one more question of this this is of increased quantity a chocolate bar company increase the size of the chocolate bar uh, one company of who are making the chocolate they think that we have to increase the size of the chocolate the ratio of the original size increase size is 5 ratio 7 they increase the uh, ratio according to the original size is 5 ratio 7 if the old bar was weight is 60 gram uh, if before increasing the size weight of the bar was 60 gram so what will be the weight of the new bar ratio given to you 5 ratio 7 original quantity 60 gram 60 gram is given to you so that is 60 gram is given to you you have to find new quantity is equal to b by a into original quantity same formula you have to apply new increase bar weight is 7 by 5 because b value is 7 and a value is 5 7 by 5 into 60 gives me 84 gram the weight of new bar is equal to 84 gram next is your third question of your assignment or worksheets which i sent to you divide rupees 550 in the ratio 1 by 2 ratio 1 by 4 ratio 1 by 6 when you are going to count the ratio so before solving you must sure that ratio term should be in whole number it should not be in fraction number if it is in fraction number first convert into whole number before solving so what do i will do i want to convert this 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 6 into the whole number so what i will do so what our denominator term is there i will find the lcm lcm of 2 4 6 is 12. now each fraction will be multiplied with the LCM. So when I multiply LCM with each fraction, 2 6 are 12, 4 3 are 12 and 6 2 are 7. I got the whole number 6 ratio, 3 ratio, 2. Now I go with the sum of ratios. 6 plus 3 plus 2 gives me 11. That means total 550 rupees will be divided into 
11 equal parts and among 11 parts 6 part is the first part among 11 part 3 part is the second part and among 11 part 2 part is for the third part of 550 rupees similarly i will find the first part out of 11 6 part is first part of 550 that is 300 rupees second part is out of 11 three parts of 550 is that gives me rupees 150 and third part is out of 11 two parts is for third part of 550 because 550 is the total money so that give me 100 if you want to check 300 150 100 that give you same price as 550 that means 550 divided among according to the ratio three parts first part second part and third part that is not equal parts so there is a according to the ratio it will be divided 6 ratio 3 ratio 2 now your fourth question is the ratio of the number of blue balls to the number of green balls to the total number of yellow balls all like blue green yellow balls ratio is given 2 ratio 3 ratio 5 if there are 80 total balls in the basket so how many blue balls are there so here sum of ratios ratio means how many total parts of the ball is divided so 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 10 this that means 80 ball will be divided into 10 equal parts among 10 equal parts two part is of blue balls three part is for green balls and five part is of yellow balls so number of blue balls is out of 10 two part is for blue balls of 80 balls so that gives me after calculation 16 balls then if you if sometime question is changed you have to ask for you find the number of quantity of green balls as well as yellow balls so you do the same thing out of 10 three part is of green balls of 80 after calculation you get 24 balls and for yellow balls out of 10 five balls is for yellow balls of 80 that is 40 balls if you want to check 16 24 40 that gives you total 80 balls so quantity will be same if quantity total quantity will be not same that is divided that means something wrong in your calculations now your fifth question a clothes store sells kurti in three colors uh, red blue or green one clothes store is there he sells the dresses red blue color three colors the colors are in the ratio three ratio four ratio five that means red color is three parts blue color is four parts and green color is five parts if the store has 20 blue kurtis if store has 20 blue kurtis quantity of blue kurti is given in the store but total quantity of all the kurtis like red blue green is not given to us that we have to find so we consider let total kurti is equal to x sum of ratio is 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 12 but quantity exact quantity of blue kurti is given 20 but according to the ratio blue kurti will be out of 12 4 parties of blue kurti of x x is the total quantity so that is the number of blue kurti according to the ratio but actual quantity is given to us from this we can easily find the total number of kurti that means out of 12 4 parties of blue part of x that is equal to 20 according to the statement so of changes to multiply 4 3s are 12 like here you can also cancel 4 3s are 12 and 3 cross multiply with that means 60 the total there was a 60 kurtis of red blue and green but if they ask for you have to find the quantity of red kurti and green kurti also so if you find the total quantity of kurtis you can out of 12 3 parts is of red kurti so that gives you 15 kurtis and out of 12 5 parts is of green kurti so that give you 25 kurti if you check like 20 15 and 25 that is same as your 60 kurtis ultimately your answer is up to this you have to find the total quantity of kurtis red blue and green in the store or in the clothes store next is your sixth question so there are rupees 384 in a bag in the form of 50 paise 25 paise and 10 paise coins if in the store there are 384 in a bag rupees but in the form of coins so coins in the form of like 50 paise coins 25 paise coins or 10 paise coins when uh, they collect the coins that becomes the total of 384 rupees you have to find if the coin are in the ratio 
लाइक फिफ्टी पैसे कॉइन ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसे कॉइन एंड टेन पैसे कॉइन्स आर इन द रेशो सेवन रेशो एट रेशो नाइन रिस्पेक्टिवली फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ईच टाइप ऑफ कॉइन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड सो वॉट इज द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द कॉइन्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वी कंसिडर टोटल आई हैव रुपीज एज थ्री हंड्रेड एटी फोर बट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कॉइन्स सो फर्स्ट वी कंसिडर नंबर ऑफ फिफ्टी पैसे कॉइन इज सेवन एक्स बिकॉज रेशियो इज गिवन एंड नंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसे कॉइन इज एट एक्स एंड नंबर ऑफ टेन पैसे कॉइन इज नाइन एक्स दैट इज अ क्वान्टिटी ऑफ कॉइन्स इफ फिफ्टी पैसे कॉइन क्वान्टिटी इज सेवन एक्स वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई सेवन एक्स इन टू फिफ्टी बाई हंड्रेड सो दैट गिव यू क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द कॉइन्स मत मीन्स हाउ मच रुपीज वैन यू काउंट दैट वैन यू फिफ्टी पैसे मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन एक्स तो हाउ मच रुपीज विल बी दैन एट एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसे पैसे चेंजेस टू रुपीज सो यू हैव टू डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड लाइक फिफ्टी बाय हंड्रेड एट एक्स विल बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय हंड्रेड एंड नाइन एक्स विल बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन बाय हंड्रेड बिकॉज यू कन्वर्ट पैसे इन टू रुपीज बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू काउंट द रुपीज एज थ्री हंड्रेड एटी फोर रुपीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट This is the quantity of the coins. Like if you have fifty paise coins, total quantity is seven x. And you want to count the money. How much money is there if I have fifty paise coin quantity is seven x? So you directly multiply fifty paise with seven x. That is your unitary method. Okay. So seven x multiply fifty paise. But we have to count into rupees we convert 50 pence into rupees so that will be 77x into 50 by 100 8x into 25 by 100 plus 9x into 10 by 100 this is the quantity of the coin when multiply by the particular coin that give you rupees in the form of because we convert pence into rupees that must be equal to 384 rupees now you find the lcm no need to cancel because each denominator is 100 so that will be easier for my calculation 7 into 50 350x 8 into 25 200x 9 into 10 90x by 100 is equal to 384 when you add that gives you like term 640 by 100x is equal to 384 zero is cancelled now 64 by 10 goes another side changes to divide and 384 into 10 by 64 give me 60 x value 60 if i got the x value i can easily find in the back how much is the quantity of coin of 50 paise coins 25 paise coins and 10 paise coin in the top we consider as 50 paise coin quantity is 7x x is 60 then total quantity will be 420 quantity of coins of 50 paise and 8 into 64 80 quantity of coins of 25 paise and 540 quantity of coins of 10 paise this is a quantity of coins not rupees if you have to find the rupees you must multiply this 420 into 50 by 100 so that will give you the total quantity of rupees that is 42 into 5 i think that gives you 112 something 200 something uh, that will you the rupees so if you want to check your answer is correct so each quantity when multiply by like 50 by 100 25 by 100 and this one 540 into this one 10 by 100 okay so when you total you get easily again 384 rupees so that is only quantity that is not rupees this is rupees according to the quantity if So 50 paise quantity is 7x. So how much total rupees will be? Then you multiply 50 by 100. If 8x quantity is there, you multiply by 25 paise into rupees. That is 25 by 100. So this way you have to find. Now your seventh question is: If you have given P ratio Q is 4 ratio 5 and Q ratio R is 2 ratio 3. First you have to find P ratio Q ratio R and here you have to find P ratio R. If you have to find P ratio Q and Q ratio R. so you have to find p ratio q ratio r that means q value will be merged in this okay so that will be merged only in that case if in both the ratio q value will be same but if i check that both values are different here q value is 5 and here q value is 2 so in that case you find the lcm of these two terms lcm is 10 try to convert this into 10 form and try to convert this into 10 form if i convert 5 into 10 form so i multiply by 2 and this another antecedent also will be multiplied by 2 because as in fraction also if you multiply numerator in any term denominator also should be multiplied with any term or either denominator multiply by any term same as lcm numerator also should be multiplied with the same term similarly here 
when I convert 2 into 10, so I multiply with 5 and corresponding another 3 also will be multiplied 5 to make the balance of the fraction. So that gave me 8, 10, 10, 15. Now 10 is same of both ratios, Q value. Now merge up the Q value. P ratio, Q ratio, R is 8 ratio, 10 ratio, 15. Now next is P ratio R. P ratio R when you write in the fraction form P by R, you can also write PR in P by Q into Q by R because if in imagination you cancel the Q, you will get again P by R. No need to cancel here because we have to arrange the values. P by Q is 4 by 5 and Q by R is 2 by 3. If no cancellation is there, you directly multiply 8 by 50 and required ratio is 8 ratio 50. Now last question is the question in the box uh, there is a quantity of blue ribbon is 3 by 5 3 by 5 blue balls okay and whatever rest part because if you remove 3 from 5 agar 5 se 3 remove kar doge to aapke paas 2 paari hai 3 ratio 5 isme aapko ultimately kya nikalna hai teeno ball teeno ribbons ki ratio nikalni hai blue ball blue ribbon ki kitni ratio hai pink uh, blue ratio pink ratio orange if we consider blue as a pink as b and orange uh, give the minimal c so ultimately we have to find a ratio b ratio c so that is mainly in this question but first we have to separately find because we do you you have to find pink ribbon and orange ribbon so here when you find pink and orange you have ratio is given 3 ratio 5 that means b ratio c is 3 ratio 5 and total is 3 plus 5 is 8 parts that means 8 part out of 8 part 3 part is of pink and out of 8 part 5 part is of orange but for the rest of the ribbon not hold the ribbon present in the box first you have to find if total quantity of the ribbon is gone to the blue some quantity is gone to the blue what was the quantity is left if 3 part is gone to the uh, blue so if you subtract 5 minus 3 only 2 part is left for the pink and orange so that means 1 minus b plus c you can also write because already we done in the fraction if one if one quantity is given to find another part we have to subtract from the whole number that is one because we consider ribbon total whatever ribbon present in the box that is a one is a whole number and if we subtract blue quantity blue ribbon quantity from this whole number we get easily quantity of the pink and orange so if 3 by 5 is there it means out of 5 3 parts is for the blue ball so whole means out of 5 5 parts is for the whole ribbons so when you make the denominator same 5 minus they give you 2 parts that means 2 parts is left for the pink and orange out of 5 parts so this out of 5 parts 2 parts 3 by 8 out of 8 3 part is for pink ribbon and out of 8 5 parts is for orange ribbon that this way you can find the exact quantity of the ribbon because sum of the ratios of pink and orange ribbon is 8 that means out of 8 3 part is of pink and out of 8 5 part is for orange but total quantity is the rest of the ribbon not whole the ribbon rest of the ribbon is 2 by 5 that means 3 by 8 of 2 by 5 5 by 8 of 2 by 5 so we got the quantity of pink ribbon is 3 by 20 and here 5 by 20 now here we we already given in question blue ribbon quantity is given 3 by 5 b is 3 by 20 and c by 5 by 20 but that is not the exact ratio because we have to remove the fraction we never write ratio in the fraction form so to remove the this fraction we first find the lcm of the denominator that is 20 then multiply each and every fraction with the 20 so here we got 12 3 and 5 after calculating short form in this i will explain again you have in a box ek box mein aapko ek ribbon diya tha usme us ribbon ko agar five parts mein divide kiya gaya to uske three parts chalenge blue balls ko और 3 अगर 5 में से 3 बॉल ब्लू बॉल्स को चले गए तो 5 में से 2 पार्ट्स कौन से रह गए पिंक और ऑरेंज के अब जो 2 पार्ट्स 5 बाय 2 पार्ट आउट ऑफ 5 2 पार्ट्स ऑफ पिंक और ऑरेंज का रह गया उसकी भी फर्दर रेशियो डिवाइड की गई पिंक और ऑरेंज की 3:5 इट मींस इसी की आउट जब इसी के पार्ट के 8 पार्ट्स किए गए उसमें 3 पार्ट पिंक के थे और इसी के 8 पार्ट किए गए तो उसमें 5 पार्ट्स कितने थे ऑरेंज के वहां से हमें क्वांटिटी निकली फ्रैक्शन की और हमें उसको proper एक whole number fractions whole number में convert किया by multiplying the LCM of the denominator thank you have a nice day